Welcome. In this module, we're going to introduce the CIS or Center for Internet Security Top 20 Critical Security Controls. Now, as you know, we have started the chapter which discusses security engineering. And security engineering, as we already know, is layer three of the security transformation model, which I have introduced in this course and which we have widely deployed in the industry with the help of my consulting company, which is Delta Tech. Now, for security engineering, uh, we already have discussed that layer one is security hardening. And for that, the framework which we have adopted and proposed uh, and covered in this course is the Center for Internet Security benchmarks, which provide hardening configurations and guidelines for each type of IT asset. At layer two of the security transformation model, we cover vulnerability assessment and vulnerability patching or vulnerability management, as it's called, VM, a vulnerability management. And that includes using a scanner such as Nessus or Qualys and scanning for known uh, vulnerabilities so that we can conduct the patch management exercise on all the IT assets, workstations, servers, uh, you know, network devices, Wi-Fi access points, databases, applications, all of those, um, and, of, and of course, the operating systems. So layer three security engineering is really stepping one level ahead, making one step forward. And uh, after layer one and layer two, which is the low-hanging fruit, which is the essentials, um, which, are the, which are, I would say, the critical steps in the journey of security, those two steps, layer one, security hardening, and layer two vulnerability management are the critical first foundational steps which need to be taken by an organization. After that, um, there is obviously uh, the need to step forward because security is very challenging and, and there is a lot to do. There's a lot of hard work and usually the enterprise IT assets are so many and so diverse and uh, perhaps also geographically spread that we require more efforts to secure the organization to improve the security posture. Now, security, for security engineering, there are more than one ways in layer three of the security transformation model to conduct the security, trans, uh, to conduct the, uh, security engineering. One of the ways, and the best way which I have found and which I strongly recommend and propose, although I would like to mention it's not the only way, is to adopt the top 20 critical security controls of Center for Internet Security, which we will introduce in this module, okay? And there are other ways to do it. Um, however, the most comprehensive, specific, uh, and uh, I would say even detailed guideline, which is technical controls, are available in this framework. Now, this is a graphic which shows the PDF document, the cover page, and the URL that you see on the bottom of the screen. You can get the PDF version and the Microsoft Excel version of the controls over here. And this is another graphic which is splitting up the 20 critical security controls into two parts. It is a top five, and then there is the rest of the 15 controls. And the top five are usually what the organization should do first, and which are, um, in terms of priority, they are more useful or they provide more re return on effort. And then, you know, obviously all 20 need to be done. Now this graphic is showing um, on the URL at the bottom of the screen, there's a very nice poster which can be printed out by a large printer. And you can actually put this up in your security operation center or where the IT security team or the information security team sits. And very quickly, we'll walk through what these 20 critical security controls are. CSC, and, and this is how the numbering format works. So CSC1 stands for critical security control number one, and that is inventory of authorized and unauthorized devices. CSC2, uh, the second um, uh, control is inventory of authorized and unauthorized software. Number three, secure configurations for hardware and software on mobile devices, laptops, workstations, and servers. Number four, is continuous vulnerability assessment and remediation, although we've already covered this in layer two of the security transformation model, but uh, this control is available. 
and it provides a little bit more guidance on how to conduct the vulnerability management. Number five, controlled use of administrative privileges. Number six, maintenance, monitoring, and analysis of audit logs. Number eight, malware defenses. This is a big area, and there's, there's so many different types of malware which are now out there. And um, this uh, particular control, CSC number eight, talks about those. Number nine, limitation and control of network ports, protocols, and services, which is part of the hardening. CSC 10, data recovery capability, taking backups and uh, other capabilities. Number 11, secure configurations for network devices such as firewalls, routers, and switches. Number 12, boundary defense. Number 13, data protection. Number 14, controlled access based on the need to know, which is actually restricting and classifying information and making sure that the right information is available only to the right people and, and not beyond that. Uh, number 15, wireless access control is a very important area since wireless is everywhere and uh, wireless is fairly easy to break in into and you don't have to plug in a wire in order to gain access to the wireless network. Number 16, account monitoring and control. Very, very important, which is about access control. 17, security skills assessment and appropriate training to fill gaps. So this is the, uh, in, the, in, the, um, in the foundation, three foundations, which is people, process, and technology. This is the people part. Number 18, application software security. Very critical, extremely important. And, and one of the largest uh, areas where most concern is shown uh, regarding security because software is mostly developed, which is insecure. And number 19 is incident response and management. And finally, in number 20, we have penetration tests and red team exercises. Now, in the next modules, we'll look at each one of these 20 critical security controls. Thank you.